Okay, so basically, um, in order to remove this character, so I can concentrate on this one, first I want to trace it, hopefully. I don't use, well, I have used tracing paper, but at this point I don't have any, so I'm going to use a basic sheet of typing paper. And hopefully I can see um, the image underneath. Um, it's actually very difficult, so... I will grab my trusty glasses um, so I can see. So I can see just a little better. And um, I'm not going to focus on much detail here. I just want to grab the basic silhouette, which is kind of visible, um, visible enough. My shadow is actually hindering me, but I'm going to. Uh, see it anyways. This is actually kind of like cell animation. Hey, um, laugh out loud, chuckle. Anyways, we'll start with his neck because actually when I kind of redrew his face a little bit, and I actually like the first one better. It's a little more. So we'll just draw here. His eyes a little bit more urgent. Um, that's another thing uh, about drawing dynamic figures is you want. In this case, yeah, we we want a sense of a sense of urgency, um, which applies to action or in motion. That's what you want to catch. Um, a lot of people when they draw characters. It, and I'm, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's no guilt involved. But if you want someone to be in motion or in action, you have to, uh, um, figure out the gesture. And the gesture is the line or the spine. The spine in this case is, see what I'm saying? Boom. So, I'm just going to trace my own uh, original drawing here and as I said before you have to make decisions um, and this is a good time to make decisions if you're going to clean up your character by tracing it this is the best time to make those decisions and you could change things make things uh, a little more or a little less, whatever. If that makes any sense. So, here, this is like, and you want to ask yourself, uh, before his, his foot came here, actually, yeah, that's okay, I can change it, I can make it come here, which is actually not bad. That leaves room for the man, the guys behind him, like come here. Or I can adjust it and put his foot here. Actually, I prefer this here. So I'll erase this just so it doesn't bother me later. Um, his other foot is here, and I don't know if you can draw feet, but I will just put a simple. There you go. And we decided he would have a fist here. So, um, the way I draw fists is pretty simple. It's just pretty much a square. Square. There you go. His arm will come here. And then we just tricep. Um, his chest. Now I love Jim. I love watching Jim Lee. Um, like I said before, this is not a tutorial. I'm not an artist or a professional illustrator. I just love to draw, and I learned from Jim Lee the W, and I'll show you here, which comes from the shoulder, down, up, boom, and out. Right. So it's a simple W. 
um, we can work on that later, but at the same time, that's something I learned, um, not uh, as confident as Mr. Lee, however, it is definitely something, it's, um, it's definitely something that you can learn from to watch other people's techniques. Me, I have no technique, I have no style, I just love to draw, so I don't know how many times I can say that, but I will say it as many times. And there you have it, there's a simple tracing that I can work on, and it's actually cleaner than this right here, which you can see is <laughs> a jumbled chicken scratch, but yeah. There you have it. And now, I can move on to this figure back here. Which, in this case, I can totally just get rid of this guy. Because I have the template, um, his silhouette. A template of his silhouette that I can work on. A separate piece of paper, and since, yes, we are in the computer age, unfortunately, I do not have a Wacom pad. I am not proficient in Photoshop. My uh, stylus is this guy right here. So if I do anything in Photoshop, here's my pen. Hooray for me. Anyways, now that we erase this guy, we can focus on this character here. I believe he has a sort of a boing cloth going on here. And, okay, and me. And his calf. And his foot here. Mm, excuse me. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see that through all the chicken scratch, but that is how you do that. Now I can focus on this guy and flesh him out. And for that we will need a darker pencil. 